All right, dudes, this crypto crash is bad, and XRP and the rest of the crypto market has dumped heavily the last 48 hours. This was one of the most major dumpster fires we've seen in a while. And honestly, it's a bit painful. I was going to take a break from ordering pizza for a while, but I might be back ordering a couple of extra larges tonight just to deal with what's going on. And if you're wondering what the hell is going on, I have another quick article to go over here on Cointelegraph, which basically explains it. I will also link this one up below in the description. Just stay strong right now, XRP Army, uh, because Lambos are in our futures, or at least mine, because I am still looking to buy a fresh purple Lambo this year. But basically, the article says XRP's price decline is triggered by massive Bitcoin sell-offs and the SEC reiterating about the $2 billion penalty demand from Ripple. XRP fell by over 12% to 0.38 on July 5th, its lowest level in three months. The cryptocurrency's decline mirrored downside moves elsewhere in the crypto market, led by signs of massive sell-offs in the Bitcoin market and the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission's SEC response to Ripple. Mount Gox, German Gov trigger market panic. Today's decline in XRP's price is primarily attributed to reports that the German government is liquidating hundreds of millions of dollars worth of Bitcoin seized from criminals while still retaining $2.4 billion worth of cryptocurrencies in its reserves. Furthermore, the now defunct Matt Gox exchange has commenced the long awaited return of over 140,000 BTC to its creditors. This development has sparked speculation about how much of the $8 billion worth of Bitcoin will be sold. Smaller coins like XRP, Ether, and BNB have declined significantly in market capitalization due to these Bitcoin sell off risks due to their high correlation with BTC. For instance, as of July 5th, the daily correlation coefficient between XRP and BTC was 0.94 against the perfect score of 1. This could be due to traders liquidating their altcoin positions to cover losses in the Bitcoin market. And then you have the SEC not budging on its uh, 2B penalty demand. Fundamentally, XRP's decline today follows the SEC's July 3rd filing in response to Ripple's Notice of Supplemental Authority. In this filing, the SEC rejected Ripple's notably. The SEC lost its lawsuit against Binance after alleging that the secondary market sales of its native token, BNB, broke securities laws in the United States. The agency lost uh, a similar argument against Ripple in 2023, but imposed a $2 billion penalty on the company nonetheless. The Ripple defense refused to pay the fine, proposing to reduce the penalty to $10 million instead. The SEC's stance on its $2 billion demand has increased uncertainty in the XRP market, contributing to a 20% decline since the filing. Over $7 in XRP long positions liquidated today's XRP price decline has been further exacerbated by the massive long liquidations in its derivatives market. As of July 5th, the XRP futures market witnessed the liquidation of over $7 million worth of long positions in the last 24 hours. In comparison, only 298,000 worth of short positions were liquidated in the same period. Request to reconsider its $2 billion penalty despite the agency's recent legal setback against Binance. When long positions are liquidated, it means that bullish traders are forced to sell their positions. This sudden selling adds downward pressure on the price, accelerating the decline. Furthermore, the XRP price accompanies a drop in its open interest and funding rates. As of July 5th, for instance, the total number of unsettled XRP contracts was around $524 million, down from $577 million a day ago. Anyways, guys, stay strong because things will rebound, but clearly the Mt. Gox news followed by the sharp decline in the Bitcoin price is what's doing a lot of this to us. Next, I would like to once again pull up my Uphold account which has around 30,000 coins of XRP and really is my favorite exchange to buy XRP. I just like to show you guys that I am always stacking and packing. I just have recurring buys on Uphold for XRP, so it's always stacking up. But basically, Uphold is still one of the top um, exchanges for buying and holding crypto. I actually only use five exchanges right now. And this is my top one speedically for XRP. And why you ask? Well, it's simple. They have really good security features here. And 
have also added Vault. Vault is basically a way to get even more protection on your XRP and crypto by taking things offline and giving you keys. It's sort of like a ledger or Trezor, but connected with them, it's cool. And it's also cool to see that they're innovating in this space. You can also trade upwards of 300 different cryptocurrencies in here, precious metals, fiat currencies, and even stocks. You can sort of see I own some other things on here other than XRP, like a little bit of Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Engine coin. Of course, if you guys wanted to get started on Uphold, there will be some bonus and resource links you can check out directly below in the description for getting started here. Okay, next I'd like to wrap things up going over five coins I think are good ways to hedge against XRP, not financial advice. But I do own these as well and believe in the long-term viability of them. First up is Singularity Net. Singularity Net is a blockchain platform anyone can use to create, share, and monetize AI services. It provides a global AI marketplace where users can purchase all kinds of AI services with the AGIX utility token. The AI boom has been one of the most exciting recent technological developments, um, both for cryptocurrency and the world as a whole. Singularity Net is well positioned to capitalize on the trend with a large team of AI scientists, researchers, and developers. Um, the platform makes it easy for users to buy AI services or develop and sell their own. Singularity Net already had quite a bit of success early last year with its price increasing by more than 300%. It later declined, likely due to some investors taking their profits. However, it could see more success as AI and the number of companies using AI continue to grow. Second is ThorChain. ThorChain is a decentralized crypto exchange that operates through an automated market maker AMM model. It has liquidity pools for cryptocurrencies managed by smart contracts. Anyone can use ThorChain by connecting their blockchain wallet to trade over 5,500 cryptocurrencies. Centralized crypto exchanges have had their share of high-profile issues, including the collapse of FTX in 2022. It's understandable why many investors would want full control of their crypto and use decentralized exchanges when possible. While many decentralized exchanges are available, ThorChain stands out for its experience in the space and recent growth. It was founded in 2018, but business really started picking up toward the end of last year. In November 2023, it had about $1 billion per week in swap volume. Next is Fetch.ai. Fetch.ai is an AI lab that allows individuals or organizations to build their own autonomous agents. The agents can then handle real-world tasks for the user. Agents store data and uh, interact with one another on a blockchain platform so they can collaborate without human interaction. FET tokens are the native cryptocurrency for Fetch.ai. As such, they're used to make payments on its network. This is another cryptocurrency that did well in 2023 due to the hype around AI technology. Its value went up by almost 300% toward the end of the year. While that's a sizable gain, based on the kinds of returns other popular projects uh, have gotten, there's likely still plenty of room to keep growing. Fourth, we have none other than Bitcoin. Like Ethereum, Bitcoin is already a top cryptocurrency, the top cryptocurrency to be exact. While it's certainly not a dark horse crypto that's going to triple in value, it has had some very positive news to start the year. After years of waiting, the Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, finally approved Bitcoin ETFs on Jan. 10, 2024. There are now 11 Bitcoin ETFs available, and they saw $4.6 billion in trading volume on the first day. The SEC approval makes investing in the market's largest cryptocurrency easier than ever and could lead to more institutional investors buying Bitcoin. And last is Monero. Monero is the best known privacy coin, which means it is a cryptocurrency with anonymous, untraceable transactions. It uses privacy enhancing technology to keep the sender, recipient, and amount of every transaction hidden. This coin has been around since 2014, a long time in a market that moves as quickly as cryptocurrency. It's an interesting investment now because of increasing uh, crypto regulation in many countries, including the United States. There are plenty of people who want to keep their cryptocurrency transactions private, especially as regulations become stricter. That gives Monero a, a clear uh, use case and makes it a 
dark horse pick for a crypto that could see continued success. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed these picks. Don't forget to subscribe and we will see you all in the next video.